Hello, this is your daily devotion for Tuesday, April 13th, and our reading this morning comes to us from the book of Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter, beginning with the 26th verse. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn away from the way that I am commanding you today, to follow other gods that you have not known. The verse is probably a fairly familiar one to those of us who have spent a reasonable amount of time studying or reading the Bible. And the concept of a blessing being laid over against a curse is certainly a familiar one throughout all of Scripture. As with every verse in the Bible, we have to be careful to understand these things within their context, though this one really doesn't have a great deal of context to understand. The people of Israel are about to cross into the promised land, the land that had been promised to Abraham after their long period of slavery in Egypt and their journey from Egypt to the promised land. And it's not going to be a simple matter of just walking in and all of a sudden it's yours. There are people already living there. And they're going to have to fight for this land that God has promised them. The temptation will be for them to fall away from the ways of God and to follow the gods of those who are already living in the land because those gods have different worship styles. And let's just judiciously leave it at that and not really dive into what the ancient Canaanite fertility cults were like because they were kind of scary. There's a, on the one hand, on the other hand to this, on the one hand, this is a promise and a threat that is meant for them at that time. And it cannot be just lifted right out of Scripture and dropped into 21st century America and said, well, you know, God says if you don't follow His commandments, there will be a curse. Because, let's face it, when we don't follow God's commandments, He doesn't need to bring down extra curses upon us. The failure to follow itself leads to its own set of curses. Nonetheless, the warning is a good one and a valid one. What God commands us to do, he does not command us to do arbitrarily or out of hatred, but rather he's simply laying out a straightforward path that will bring us peace and joy, should we choose to follow it. So understand verses like this in their context. But as with so many things in the Bible, there is stuff that was applicable at the time it was spoken, and there's stuff that is universally and generally applicable. And this one, the advice to follow God's command to avoid undesirable consequences, is universally applicable. The idea that God is going to curse if we don't follow is not. Because each commandment and the breach of it carries with it its own particular kind of curse. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for the gift of your law and of your commandments. And while they don't save us, they guide us. We pray that you would cause knowledge of your law to grow among us, and that we would see within it the logic, the wisdom, and the love that leads to our benefit. Guide us in all of our ways. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.